all sponges go to heaven. They look like he's in like a... Well, he is a kind of in a... Oh, there we go. Now he's in a stream of light. Ah, all sponges go to heaven. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play. What is this? Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. He sure is getting his revenge. See how there's all there's these little cubby holes in here? <gasps> What's that? What is that? There's all these weird little cubby holes in here. And I don't understand, man. There's no like they look like they'd be doors or something, and maybe they were supposed to be doors. And, like, initial production of this game, and then they didn't do it because they ran out of time or something. Or they're just like, eh, hey, we'll just leave it like that. Also, th that stream of light clearly stops before the trees. Interesting, very interesting. Um, yeah, anyways, in the last episode, we came to Sandy's Tree Dome. <gasps> Look at that. How do I? I found the hive, you guys. Belly slam the beehive. Welp, I must do with the, with the, what, why is there floating water dro drops above me? What the heck? Can I do that again? Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> You're just water drops in the air, just floating there for some reason. Well, I must do what the mysterious text tells me to do. I am nothing but the sheep. And it just gives you a second to get off, and then it just falls. Yay, we have successfully defeated the worst enemy in the world. 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 Catch four bees or wasps. Okay. Well, I've pretty much explored the whole tree. What's in here? Also, why is there like a weird mod- Oh, it's an elevator. Let's way to Sandy's room. Okay. Let's go to Sandy's room. <gasps> Sandy cheeks! Holy crap, that is one bouncy ass bed, son. This reminds me of the hibernation episode, you know? She even has her. There's even a rocking chair here she sat in when she was sleeping and it's terrifying because she was like massive and could snap SpongeBob's little sponge neck. And also, the blinds that are also leaves. <laughs> ah, it's so carny, cartoony. I love it. So carny. I don't know why I said carny for cartoony. Carny. Come on, get in the door! Get in the door! I didn't realize I was an elevator. I thought that was just a door. Huh, I never noticed that before. Alright, let's uh knock the beehive down. Let's go talk to Sandy. Uh hopefully we're gonna make that. Dang, I'm good. Oh, I almost died. Uh, well that hive is out of your tree, so um no hard feelings. Right. That's a good start, but now I've got all these thing and What? Flying They're all dead! Here. Round them all up. If you do a good job, I might even have a reward for you. But, what, 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 what kind of a reward? What? The, I'm scared. What could that mean? Um. Oh god, I almost died. Oh, there we go. If I died, it probably would have teleported me up to uh, Sandy's um, room since that was the last door I entered. I wouldn't want that now, would I? So yeah, the rest of the bees, as you would probably imagine, are down here. Buzzing around with the speed of bee. Oh, there's one right there. It's weird. Bees or wasps. They don't inhabit the same places. Do wasps even make nests, or is that just bees? I think they do, actually. Wow, that wasp was red for some reason. Anyways, we get the G, which I think is... Got 110... No... Wait, what? Bring down the hive. Oh, you know, that that was for bringing down the hive. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. So, yeah, now there's bees, wasps down here. I don't know if they would be down here if you didn't knock down the hive yet. I'm actually curious about that. Why are you red for? Why are you so vicious? <laughs> they fly so so stupidly. So stupid. I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure there's only 10 bees and wasps. Which, I mean, makes sense. It's not exactly like, it's not like they're hard to miss. Talk with Sandy. Alright, we gotta climb the tree again, you guys. <clears throat> and yeah, with that, actually, I'm pretty sure with this, we're gonna be done the treehouse already, which is sad. Like, it, it's much better than the Battle for Bikini Bottom tree dome, where all you gotta do is kill a bunch of robots, and that's it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you did it, end of game. There are no more stingy thingies in your oh, they should have been called stingy thingies that in the menu. Was some mighty fun wrangling, SpongeBob. I'm going inside my treehouse for a rest. See you later, SpongeBob. It's gonna be like before when you walked in, then immediately walked back out. Oh sure, you don't immediately fall off the tree. <gasps> that upskirt shot, though. I mean, what? <laughs> Only one G left. Well, okay, let's creepily follow her up to her room because we have nothing better to do. Why is there so many leaves here? It's weird. Oh, so I totally thought that was the entrance to her room. No, it's just a strangely placed cubby hole. So many strangely placed cubby holes. Yeah, here we go. It's actually a lot closer 
are easier to get to than I thought it was. And quicker to get to. What the? What? That? What? When did we decide we're doing karate? Also, why am I naked? Oh, never mind. Sometimes if you look at Spongebob at the right angles, like here, it looks like he's just wearing his underwear, which means he only has one health, but... Okay. So, mistress of mayhem, how long did you think you could hide in here? It's a trap! For another defeat. Is that supposed to scare me? I've been practicing since our last match, and I've learned some new moves. Now, pay attention. We've got a short amount of time to bust up all this junk in my treehouse. The one who breaks the most stuff when time runs out is the winner. Now here are some advanced moves. Hold the duck button, then press the action button to strike in all directions. You got all that? Ready, set, go! I forgot about this move. All right. So yeah. Oh, oh geez. She actually hurt me there. What an asshole. So honestly, I don't, I still don't like it that much. Try it one more time. Just do, wow, my feet got all big there. What the heck? It's like when Mario punches. Oh, totally thought her, uh, where did Sandy go? What the heck? Look like she just like teleported. Or it looked like she like fell through the floor to be honest. But yeah, honestly, this like double pressing at the action button or B button in my case three times and having spun them fly across the room, that is definitely the most efficient thing to break all the things still. So I don't even worry about the uh the new movie yet. It's so pointless. Also, I really don't understand why this is the karate matches in this game. Oh that's weird she didn't go for the trash and she went for me instead. Damn you, Sandy. That was mine. That was mine. That was so mine. Thankfully, the range that you could hit Sandy from is pretty big. So even when she's like behind you and you're striking, it still hits her. Must contain oh, I can still move. I thought I had something. Well, shook, SpongeBob. That was some tussle. Yay! And now we have all the letters. That took what? Maybe 22 minutes? Probably less than that, actually. Probably like 20 minutes. 20 minute level. <laughs> okay then. Wow, it's so short. <gasps> Switch on my balls! I hope we got 100%. Oh, I, didn't, I even forgot this place looked like. It feels like it's the first time I've seen this. Ooh. This, no, well. Is this more complicated than I remember it? Oh no, there's one. Can they hurt me? Can you hurt me, wasps? Wasps, 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 wasps. It's just gone now. We will never know. Oh, there he is. Whoa, what the heck? Like, faded out. Did he just die? Poor wasp. Like, come on, man. I'm defeating this in like four or five. Oh, no, he's right there. Dang it. Hmm. What can that church just be? Also, there's doubloons in the background still. <laughs> oh, God. Let's just move all of the parts. Make it do a little jig. That dance is pretty bad. <laughs> I can't get over how bad that dance is, man. I'm a dance man. But yeah. All right, let's forget about this. Where can I be? It's so weird to me that... Oh, oh, this way, apparently. Hello? It's weird to me that they make the karate matches the way that they did. Oh, the beehive's still here. What the heck? I thought you were gone. Oh, you can bounce on it now? Wait, was that? I had no idea that was a thing. That makes things really easy. Hey, look, it's a treasure chest. Yeah, it's so weird to me that they made the um, the karate matches the way they did because you're just breaking stuff. Why? Why not just have like an actual battle? First one to like I don't know, hit the other opponent like like 10, 20 times wins. I mean, that would make a lot more sense to me. But instead, they just had break all the trash. I mean, it's not like it's too violent. You're all you're wearing pads, and they always do karate fights in the show too. So it's not like it's a horrible thing. Anyways, here's a treasure. Sponge of weird Indiana Jones. <gasps> I love it. I love the kids. Ew! In the background, it's great. Is this a cutscene? I think it is. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. It's not gonna be. Then I believe the next. Like, person being kidnapped by the Flying Dutchman. Squidward? Sorry, but my yard sale is over. You should have shown up on time if you wanted to buy something. I never buy what I want. Wow, what an asshole. Take it, and you're what I'm here for. Another member for my ghostly crew. But according to my book on evil spirits, the Flying Dutchman is only supposed to take the ones who disturb his rest. 
But that little snail feller is working out so well, and my old crew is so lazy. Can't we overlook that rule just this once? Just think how nice Clarinet. it would be when you're a member of the Dutchman crew. Did you guys see we kind of flew off the side of the screen there? It went from left to right. It was strange. Or not from left to right. It was where he was standing and then he like flung to the right. So a lot of weird like glitches. Weird teleporting glitches. Teleporting, teleporting, teleporting. Fat guy. I don't know why I said fat guy for. I thought that he was going to kidnap Sandy. Though. Does he have a kidnap Sandy? I'm not sure. I feel like he should, right? Um, anyways... Now Squidward's gone, and the, em the, the empty world feels ever so more empty. To the bikini bottoms! SpongeBob, there we go. <laughs> oh. Yay! Oh man, I know where we're going next. It's gonna be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Loading, loading, loading! Alright, well. Let's go explore what's going on now. Has anything changed? I have no idea. <gasps> you know what I just realized? Two episodes ago, we saw Patrick. And we never followed him. Wow, that's going to be weird. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Well, oh, my phone. Dang it. I forgot to put it on silent. I'm sorry, everybody. So... Is he over there? He is over there. Okay, so, two episodes ago, at the end of it, we saw Patrick uh, running around here, like, don't let him get away, and I totally let him get away, but he just goes to the chum bucket. Let's go see what's going on with Patrick. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> Result storylines. I'm sorry, Mr. Krebs, but all those people who ordered food told me they already got it. Fool! Worthless lackey! Uh, I mean, that's okay. Others will soon phone in their orders and will be ready and waiting to intercept their calls. Aha! I'm on to your little scheme now, Mr. Krabs. It's all too clear that you're the one who's been trying to put the Krusty Krab Oh, Mr. Center. Krabs. Uh, uh, hi, SpongeBob. Are you a worthless lackey, too? Now I'm really confused, Patrick. Why would Mr. Krabs try to put himself out of business? Because he's a worthless lackey? Enough. Patrick's Enough. eyes. <laughs> Silence, you ignorant buffoons! Oh no! Plankton! Plankton? Of course you look at his teeth. Poops. Who else has the intellect to mastermind such a plan? I would have succeeded too if it weren't for your utter incompetence. Does this mean I don't get that raise? Let's face it, Plankton. Evil does not pay or even get very good tips. Your days of impersonating Mr. Krabs are over! You may have won that round, Spongebob, but I don't need a disguise to separate your crabby boss from his fortune. <gasps> Behold! The greatest attraction to ever appear in Bikini Bottom! Chum World! Ooh. <laughs> Everyone will spend so much money here, they won't have any left to buy your pathetic crabby panties. Now I'm off to Jellyfish Fields to watch the invertebrates get tangled in nets of torture. Ta -ta. That's weird. I hate to admit it, but that chum world. It does, doesn't it, SpongeBob? Yeah, fun. Where did Plankton say he was going? Uh, Jellyfish Fields. Get chum world pass from Jellyfish Fields. Okay. Okay. So this place actually does look pretty fun, isn't it? It's, it's very interesting. I don't know why he's going like Plankton's going to Jellyfish Fields instead of where he just opened. The place up. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Also, <laughs> freaking Plankton's teeth, man. You guys see how he looks like? He's like, ah, ah, ah. he just looks like he he just talks through his teeth. So weird. Uh, let's go to our fishing gear. Cause um, do we have jellyfish fields area here? Where, where is this? It's downtown bus stop. Hey, it's gotta be Chum World, isn't it? Yeah, Chum World. I believe the bus stop. To jellyfish fields is over this way. This way, I believe. And yeah, I just kind of preemptively changed to the jellyfish in costume because let's face it, it's jellyfish fields. There's gonna be a lot of freaking jellyfish, and that is definitely the world I'm most afraid of getting all the jellyfish in. 
Um, is it jellyfish fields? Yeah, right inside the SpongeBob's house. <gasps> oh, tartar sauce. I still don't have the right ticket but for this bus stop. how do we get it? How does one get it? I don't know. Hmm. <gasps> oh! <laughs> There's just a jellyfish here that's carrying the ticket. And there we go. We have a jellyfish thing. Okay, we do have 100% of the jellyfish now. That is awesome. I was really worried. Cause, you know, saying I was missing jellyfish, and I'm pretty sure a few episodes ago I was saying, huh, I'm gonna have to look for those off screen. And then just this recording session, I'm like, oh yeah, I think there's a jellyfish that spawns when you could go to jellyfish fields. And there we go. So, yeah. In the next episode, we're gonna take a little trip to jellyfish fields bus stop. That's right, not jellyfish fields itself, just the bus stop. Also, I just hit my freaking microphone. I almost said camera. What? If you guys enjoyed the episode, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. My name's Chris. If there's any games you want to see me play, um, check, take a look at the top link in my description. It leads you to a video where you can leave suggestions for games for me to play. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!